In today's video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to use the Sony ZV-10 as a webcam. If you're looking to upgrade from a generic webcam and you've got one of the compatible Sony cameras, stay tuned. Now, I know what you're thinking, another webcam tutorial, I've seen a million of those, but hear me out, this one is different. For starters, I'm going to show you how to use the Sony ZV-10's features to your advantage to make your webcam video look the best it can so that you can stream easily on platforms like Twitch and YouTube. So whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, I guarantee you'll learn something new in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. The Sony ZV-10 is a great camera for streaming because it has a number of features that make it well suited for this purpose. It can film in 4K resolution, which is actually a downscaled version of 6K. And although once it's connected and pulling the picture to your computer at a much lower resolution, usually around 720p, you're still going to get an upscaled version of 720p, which will look good on your screen. Although I actually prefer using an external microphone whether that's one attached to the camera like a wireless microphone or one attached to the computer the sony zv10's built-in microphone can capture clear audio perfect if you're using just a simple setup the zv10 lcd screen which is a variable angle touchscreen which allows you to see yourself as you're streaming which is helpful for making sure that you're framed correctly especially and useful if you've got just a simple setup or if you've got a single screen streaming setup and you don't want to be switching windows just to see if you're in frame. That ever useful product showcase mode on the ZV-10, which automatically adjusts the camera's focus to make sure that anything you are showcasing your viewers on screen is in focus and looking its best without having the need to cover your face, which is what you've got to do on a lot of other cameras. And together with the camera's smooth autofocus that will keep you in focus even when you're moving around, which is important for streaming as you don't want your viewers to lose track of you. One must have essential accessory if you plan to use the ZV-10 as a webcam is a dummy battery. This will ensure that the camera has continuous power, which removes the need to have a supply of replacement batteries continuously on a charging rotation and also prevents the camera from overheating, prolonging your stream life. But if you don't have one or don't plan to get one, then in the settings in the setup free fold on the ZV-10, enable USB power supply and this will charge your camera battery while it is still plugged into the camera. Although I have found that it doesn't prevent the camera from overheating, you're still going to get that in this mode. And then on to the setup. Step one, enable USB streaming on the camera. On the camera, press the menu button, scroll down to USB streaming and press the enter button. Your camera will now wait until you've connected the USB cable to your camera. Step two, connect the camera to your computer. Use the USB cable to connect the camera to your computer. The camera will automatically be recognized as a webcam or video input device by your computer, as you can see here through OBS. Step three, configure the camera settings. Some settings can be changed after you've connected the USB-C cable and the camera is in the USB streaming mode, like the aperture, shutter speed, ISO, the product showcase button, and generally anything you put in the function menu, which appears when you press the FN function button. You're able to change the shoot mode and choose from any of the available video modes. So make those setting changes that will give you the look that you're going for. The things you can't change are anything within the settings menu itself and viewing old shots. If you do try any of these then you'll be met with the invalid during USB streaming. But if you need to get into those restricted settings, either remove the USB-C cable from the camera or press the still movie S and Q button to terminate your connection, and then when you make your changes and then reattach the cable. Step four, test the camera. Once you've configured the camera settings, test the camera by opening your streaming software or video conferencing app of choice. Here I'm using OBS. Add the video capture device and select ZV-10. Make sure that the camera is displaying your image correctly. If you want to add the audio from your ZV-10, and the audio input to capture device and select ZV-10 as your device. And whether you're using a built-in microphone or external wireless microphone attached to the camera, this will pick up that signal. Make any further changes that you need and add any customized enhancements to your video or audio. Here are some additional tips for using your camera as a webcam. Use a good tripod or other mounting system to keep your camera steady. Here, I've got it mounted behind my two monitors. Use a light that will evenly illuminate your face. 
and make sure to experiment with different settings to find the ones that work best for you. The Sony ZV-10 is a great camera to use as a webcam. It offers excellent image quality and a variety of features that you can help you look your best on video. With a little bit of setup, you can be up and running in no time, whether you're embarking on a streaming career, taking a content creating path, or just simply want to add something for your video conferencing course. Let me know in the comments below what webcam you're currently using and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below as well press the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already for more content creating tutorials just like this and i'll see you in the next one